And here we see the natural stomping ground of the Red Choo Choo. It lives a simple life, but it has a big heart, and that is all that matters, isn't it? Its green eyes attract the best females, because females like green- I don't even know- Hello guys, how are we doing? This is Rabbit Luigi, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished up Ikana Canyon for real. We actually got some hearts there. We didn't actually finish it out, because there's something we can do this episode. If I get enough hearts this episode, but we- beat some ghosts, we found a bottle, and we went back to the Great Bay and did that thing with the spider house and the stupid colored mask or whatever. I didn't even care, that was annoying. That uh, I don't know, that's annoying little heart piece to get. Skull Kid is smacking his butt, so you know what this episode is about. Um, Skull Kid smacking his butt. What we actually have to do, this is a, a little bit of a dumb episode, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, I don't even care. I've got to go find that moon's tear, okay? Because I need to do stuff with that. It's that episode, guys, if you know what I'm talking about. Get that moon's tear. It's very important for many, many things. I need to go back to Clock Town. Because I've got a bit of business to do. Sir, sir! Oh, we keep doing this. It's very annoying. Uh, I haven't actually done it that many times, but... I Yeah, I know. Just have the moon's tear. So we can start this side quest. It's a pretty big side quest, and it gives you a ton of heart pieces. So I reckon I reckon I should do this now. I think pretty much. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, she hasn't got a jewel. Title deed is wonderful. Uh, it's very useful. I'm gonna go give that to a person who might appreciate it a bit more than I do, because I do not know the value of property. Now you see, if I remember correctly, I do believe there is somebody in here who has a very good sense of property ownership. Is it? Yes, he is. Hello. Hello, strange man. P -p -p paper, please. That's like that papers, please game where you like Russia. I forget how that game works. Yeah. Oh yeah, he likes it. He likes my property. Ho! Oh, what you call me? You saved me. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nice man. Uh, you're gonna give me any? You're gonna give me? Oh yes. Uh, this fell down here. I'll give it to you. He gives me a heart piece. I'm not sure I want that. It's been down there. Um, hmm. Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. Uh, you helped someone out of a jam. I, they're, not, they're not in a jam, they're in... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably not what I'm supposed to do. So that that's okay, I've gone back in time. I've got a brand new Moon's Tear. We're going to do this again. I'm going to give you a Moon's Tear. You're going to give me a deed. I'm going to get some sort of trade, sort of partnership thing going here. You can be my best friend. You'll be my best friend. Give me that land title deed. That's my Deku Flower now. Absolutely fantastic. Um, let's go give it to someone else. Let's go ahead and give it to this observatory guy, because clearly he must have some sort of use for this land title deed or something. I don't know. I'm just sort of fishing around, looking for somebody to buy or to take my land title deed off my hand. What we're actually here for is not any of that. If we wait around long enough, we see this guy, the business scrub, who we just bought out. Uh, with a moon here or something, I don't know why, it was very strange, it was uh, an interesting negotiations. He's moving out, he's going somewhere, not sure where he's going, but we gotta follow him. Uh, where, where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, what, oh god, oh he's coming after us, oh my god, it's so scary, he's actually going this way. Gotta tilt the telescope, telescope moves really slowly, there's a guy over there, oh he's on the pillar, okay. Um, <laughs> that was weird, uh, he's still going. Don't know where he's going, but he's doing it quickly. My, my telescope's not that slow. There's another guy over there who's being an idiot. This guy's climbing the thing. Uh, he's going underneath the telescope. That is cheating, sir. I can't do anything about that. He's over here. Keeping track of him with my telescope. Got to do that. Uh, and he's going to go go into this hole and disappear. Where's that hole in respect to everything else? I don't know. There's a guy, though. Hi, guy. But let's go find out. Let's disturb this business scrub and try and get whatever the hell we can off of him. I need some supplies, by the way, because I keep going back in time and it keeps getting rid of all my arrows, all my hard-earned arrows, which I've had to cut down bushes and stuff to get. But whatever. Let's go down here. Uh, he is, in fact, in here somewhere, along with lots of bugs. This is a really weird place to live, by the way. Hello? Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come here without permission. Oh dear. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. Uh, 150 rupees is a lot of money, sir. No good in that case, you have leave me no choice. Uh, 100 rupees, I can do that. Bit of bartering, that is called negotiations, guys. Gives me a brand new heart container, 16. It's not that I don't believe you, just, but just be safe, I'm moving my storage. You, you hurry up and get out of here too. And he was off. We made him move his storage. Um, I feel kind of bad about that, 
Or at least I would if he didn't give me a heart piece. If he just said, you know, left without a trace of whatever, you know, I I I'd think, oh, I feel so sorry for this man. I've made him move. I've had to make him move all his crap. And it's a lot of crap. I don't know what he does. What does he sell? I forget what this guy actually sells, but um, I don't know. He's got some money in here. He's got a big crate of something in here. He's got bugs. Didn't think he sold bugs. There's nothing in here except for bugs. That's nice. But on with the show, as they say, and we shall find someone else to get our title deed, our land title deed off of us, in an attempt to improve our real estate market. Hello. Thanks for stopping. You're not you're not from here, are you? No, I'm not. That's why I've got bunny ears. Sell magic beans to Deku Scrubs, but I really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier place. Uh, but to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Indeed you do. Do you know what I mean? I do. I have the right paperwork. I've got a pen. We can fill it out now and you can be the proud owner of your brand new... It's a, it's a yellow Deku flower. It's amazing. Oh, that's a lo that's a lound. <laughs> that's a town land title deed. That what? Town land. Uh, I wish you'd let me have that. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll give you this land in return, deal. Yes, absolutely. Gives me a green bit of paper, the swamp title deed. Brilliant. I'm going off to that town right now, I'll leave the rest up to you. Indeed he will. What this is basically all about, other than the fact that you're giving these Deku business scrubs a new place to go to, you have to use the Deku flower they leave behind to access a piece of heart, okay? And it happens with every single time you do it, until you run out of a chain, until you get to the end of a chain. This is like property, isn't it? This is actually genuinely property. You, you will get to the end of the chain, um, and there'll be nothing there. There'll be nothing left to do. We're just like giving deeds to another person and a deed to another person and all that kind of crap. But up here is a heart piece which I just went straight through. Okay, I don't even mind four to get. We can get more than that. Holy cow. At which point we arrive in the Goron village looking to improve our property search for a... I don't even know what we're doing anymore, but hello. Thank you for stopping by. I'm doing business with Focus on Goron clientele. It's very interesting. I'm sorry I can't do business with you if you're not a Goron. It's a regulation of the Business Scrub Association. That's very interesting. You can't be helped. It hurts, I know. Uh, so I want to be... Uh, I'm going to go with Deku. I'm trying to remember, actually, which order, which mask I have to be... Assigned to me so I can give you stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Who would have thought I'd meet a fellow? I feel like I've done this before. Whatever. I'm focusing on the glory now. But what I really like to do is go back home with the new business where it's sur I'm surrounded by tree. Yeah. Sentences are hard, I know. But I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. Do you know what I mean? I do have a green bit of paper. It's made of 100% grass. Oh, that's a swamp title deed. I wish you would give it to me. Uh, I'll give you this land in exchange. I'm going to do that. Gives me a red bit of paper. Mountain title deed. You see where this is going already. I'm going right back to the swamp. Okay, that's very interesting. I, I actually do like what their reasons are for moving. This guy wants to go back to his hometown. The other guy wanted to move for his, for his yeah, wanted to move from his hometown. And then the first guy just wanted to up and leave. So I'm not sure what the next guy is gonna say, which results in you know what I you know where I really like to go? As a plant creature, I'd really like to go somewhere really fucking cold. Or at least he maybe he doesn't know it's cold. Maybe he's gonna arrive here. Maybe I'm gonna give him the title deed, and he's not gonna know that it's cold and I'm gonna feel really bad. I have no idea. So the question is, what do I have to say to you to make you want to go to a horrible icy wasteland? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're from the mountains, you can tell, clearly. I'm selling green potions, but only to Zoras, because I'm an arsehole. Actually, I'd like to do business somewhere where it's cooler, and the air is <laughs> definitely cooler. But to open a business in another place, go through the proper channels, I know exactly what you mean. I am an experienced property exchanger. I'm, I work in real estate. Oh, that's a mountain title deed. Thank you. Uh, I'll give you this land in exchange. That's a good deal. I like that deal. Gives me a blue bit of paper. Ocean title deed. Fantastic. Yahoo! That's a search engine. I'm off to the resort. The mountains are calling me. It's not really a resort. It's more of a frozen tundra with some, like, rock people. Okay, so I don't know. Don't know how you're going to exit. Are you just going to take a really long time? Or is there actually... There's a hole in the top. There's a hole in the top. That's really bad for, like, when it starts raining. Although, I guess if they're fish creatures, they might like the rain. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. I'm, maybe I'm reading a little too much into this, but I don't know. That is weird. I can't be the only one who finds this a bit weird. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm actually genuinely reading too much into that. I don't know. I don't care. Give me a heart piece. Went through that one as well. Jesus. Hit registration is hard. 
three heart pieces, let's go get number four. So if we actually continue past the very strange, smiling, prancing man, we actually go to this area we haven't been to yet. This is upstream or downstream, I'm not sure, but it's a black cavern, which reveals the final, the final uh, business scrub. Final guy with a bit of paperwork, which I need to do. Thanks for stopping by. You're from the ocean, aren't you? Uh, I'm here to sell blue potion. That's actually, I want to do some business in the sea breeze while listening to the sound of the waves, man. Oh, I, I feel ya. I feel ya. I used to be a guitarist. But to open a business in another place, you need to, yes, I've been through. I know exactly what you mean. Have my paperwork. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, if that isn't an ocean title deed, let me have that. Uh, please, if I have that, my dreams will come true. I can do that. I'm not asking for it for free. I'll give you this. He has no paperwork. He gives us money. Huge rupee. 200 rupees. Holy mother of balls. That's a lot of money. Oh, yeah, the nut brown beauties of what? <laughs> the nut brown beauties of nut brown? Okay. I have no, no, not even gonna, I'm just gonna wave that away, wash my hands of it, and move on. Because we have another heart piece to go get. And what it does mean is, well, actually, because we've got what will be going on for 17 heart pieces, heart containers even, uh, we can actually also, while we're here, in a can of canyon, go after that fucking secret shrine and get that final mini boss and then the heart piece which comes of that. So I'm going to do that after I get to this, which is nice. It takes us all the way over here. I'm actually going to read this gossip stone because I have no idea what it says. And if it's out in the middle of nowhere like this, it must say something decent. You think. I haven't really read a lot of gossip stones with this thing, but it's the other thing the Mask of Truth can do, rather than just listening to animals. The mystical stone responds to the mask and he speaks to you, but its words are heard in secret. The fierce deity mask, a mask that contains the merits of all masks, seems to be somewhere in this world. Now, <laughs> we'll get to that much later on, but that's the end game, okay guys? That's all I'm gonna say. It's the end game. Now you see, the question is, do I have to face all the bosses? I have to face all the bosses again, don't I? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna skip that, okay? I'm not even gonna- not even gonna show these. By the way, someone mentioned, and I do apologize for forgetting your name because I didn't actually see the name, but someone mentioned that if you look at the ceiling, or look at the number of hearts above each room, it tells you how many you need. So obviously this one you need four. If we go to the next one without falling into the water, which is over here. Leaps! Okay, whatever. We can make it anyway. We can make it anywhere. Doesn't even matter. So if we go to the next one, it will then say we need about eight if you count them all up. You know, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, eight. So you need eight. It tells you how many you need. Of course, when we go to the the final one, it also tells you how many you need. So that's just my fault. And then this one has like 12. You can see, you know, four, four, and then there's, you know, two in the middle and then two, two on the side. It It's so easy. How did I not notice that before? And then this one has loads of hearts. And if you were not an idiot, which I was, you could count them up and actually know you need 16 to get in here, which I'm actually, I'm, I'm one over, but that doesn't matter. Welcome to the Garrow Master again. Hello, sir. I've got an awesome sword. How are you doing? Uh, I can just like destroy you in not many hits. I'm not going to do this without taking a hit because I want to kill him quickly because I've been going on for way too long in this episode. I'm not sure how long this episode is, but I've been recording for about like an hour, I reckon about. I, I need to check at the end. I'll check at the end and put it on the screen like about now or something. But the Garrow Master's down. Doesn't even leave a message. He's not the sort to leave a message. He's not that kind and considerate of our feelings. He just blows up and leaves. He's not a very good person. He's the leader of a assassin group. So maybe he's not. A, I, I didn't, even, why didn't even go to that. I've got 500 rupees. That means nothing. I've got max rupees. I've... I've been here before. It's, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Whatever. We are finished with the secret shrine. Better knowing that I have to do it all again, but whatever. Yee I can't do this voice anymore. You really are an amazing person, jackass. I am. I, I, so I solved your problems before. It seems you've somehow managed to heal their souls. Maybe I shall soon... I sh bleh, maybe I shall vanish soon myself. Um, well then, yee hee hee. And then he disappears. And everybody's happy. Because we did that kind of fun mini game side quest thing but when you have to do it again it's not fun it gets annoying it's it's uh, it bugs me i can kill the first mini boss in like a second it's ridiculous and then wart takes a while and Wizrobe takes a while because he's a dick biscuit person but whatever it's all worth it for a piece of heart 
we have like a lot. I'm not sure how many we have. Again, uh, uh, again, again. I'll put that on screen because you people must know how far our far far along far along we are in this game and how many heart pieces we have because we got a lot. We got a ton. We got a metric, a physical metric ton of hearts so far, which is absolutely fantastic. So in the next episode. What we've done this episode, basically, very quietly, very secretly and quietly, is got all the heart pieces that don't... Actually, no, that's a lie. We got all the easy-to-get heart pieces. I was going to say something different. But in the next episode, we're going to be doing something which is rather annoying. And if you saw one of the earlier, earlier episodes, you will know my previous experience with said annoyance, and it wasn't good. Hence why I've called it an annoyance. It's, you know, that's how it works. So we're going to do that. Along with another thing, which is equally annoying, maybe slightly less. And then another thing, which is kind of easy, kind of dumb. Probably the thing which is going to be the hardest time in the next episode. I have no idea. But I've left those three things, those three heart pieces, to an episode of their own. Because uh, I probably have enough time to go do them if I'm amazing at them. But I'm not amazing at them. I, I, I accept that. So we're going to do them next episode. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Take care.